Today, I'm going to share with you the major selenium benefits and what this substance really is. Uh, now, before I get started, down below, I am giving away a free video-based guide all about uh, shopping for dietary supplements and as well as herbal medicine. Now, perhaps you've seen selenium in some sort of dietary supplement or perhaps on a food label and wondered, what the heck is it? And, you know, what does it do for my body? Well, you know, should I get it? Well, selenium is a trace element, and what this really means in a nutshell is that your body only needs a very tiny amount of it. And it's in food like nuts, uh, seafood, whole wheat bread, and uh, one of the big reasons uh, your body needs this whole trace element is because it regulates uh, thyroid hormones. Now, I want you to just imagine for a second that your body is this one giant factory, okay? Every factory needs a boss, needs a CEO. So what which, which organ do you think is the CEO? It's probably the brain, right? And all the workers are the cells, and then you have another element. You have the managers, right? And those would be like the hormones. Now the thyroid is a gland located uh, near the neck, and it creates these managers, these hormones. So it doesn't, if someone doesn't consume enough selenium, well, it can lead to all kinds of problems and the thyroid gland is not working correctly. This creates a chain reaction, and that's bad. So a few examples uh, of some of these problems could be like irritability, vision problems, muscle weakness, fatigue, sleeping problems, dry skin, and just the list continues. So you can see this is a big, big reason why you don't want to be deficient in this stuff. Um, a second benefit of selenium is it improves blood flow and lowers the chance of heart disease. That's huge. In fact, last time I checked, the number one reason for death in the United States of America is heart disease. And yeah, better blood flow is just better with so many things. Now, the American uh, Journal of Clinical Nutrition uh, looked at 25 clinical studies and concluded that its elements reduces the chance of heart disease. In observational studies, a 50% increase in selenium was connected with a 25% lower risk of heart disease. That's good. If that wasn't enough, uh, this mineral has been connected with lowering chance of cancer, or the scary C word. Now, according to the American Cancer Society, uh, areas of the world where selenium levels in the soil are, are high, death rates from cancer are much lower than areas where there isn't that much of this mineral. Plus, plus, according to the American Cancer Society, a review of 385 studies found that people who took selenium supplements live slightly longer than those that do not. You know, other antioxidant supplements like um, vitamin A, C, or E had no effect. And uh, next up, it can help with asthma. Okay, and here's some proof about that it can help. Uh, according to the University of Maryland Medical Center, a study with 24 people with asthma that took selenium supplements for 14 weeks experienced fewer symptoms than people who took a placebo effect. And lastly, stuff fights free radicals, inflammation, boosts the immune system, and possibly even eliminates dandruff. Okay, it's all very cool stuff. So you want to get selenium. Sure, you can get it through food. Um, the big truth when it comes to food is, you know, the truth is, our food does not have the vitamins and minerals like it used to. Okay, there's a lot of reasons for this, but a big one is soil depletion. You know, it's, farmers they go to work to make money to feed their families, right? And so they use chemicals to grow the crops bigger and faster and fight off all these weird, nasty bugs, which helps them make money but it depletes the nutri nutritional value of um, their food. So when it comes to vitamins, you can just get yourself a good quality multivitamin. That's going to help you a lot. Now, before you go out there and start shopping for them, there's some crap out there. That's the truth. There really is. And to kind of make these a little easier for you, um, I actually created this whole report and video guide all about shopping for supplements. It gives you some great tips, what to look for, what to avoid, Ingredients that you definitely want to avoid. Just knowing that's going to be very, very helpful. Okay. Um, plus, it's completely free, and I, it's a lot of fun. I'm sure you're going to love it. it. Goes over some other really cool things like alternative medicine and herbs. And uh, if you want to learn more, just click on the link below the video I made for you here. So, thank you so much for watching.
Um, please leave a comment with any thoughts you may have on this video. Hopefully it was helpful. And if you did like the video, which I hope you did, please uh, leave a thumbs up. Uh, click that little button. That helps me a lot. And, um, well, have a very enjoyable rest of your day.